what should be my daughter and her husband? I've been getting these letters from her that I barely understand, a stream of consciousness type of writing. She hasn't been home in over two years, and suddenly she just invites herself to the weekend. I don't know why. Jennifer and I have uh, decided to announce our wedding plans. I don't know how she'll respond, but it's important to me that she gives us her blessing. You want me to do a clinical observation, I thought. Oh, here, here is my friend. But as my friend and a doctor, I may ask you for your opinion on the You think she may be mentally ill? No, no, I don't know. But there has to be some reason that she's flying all the way to New Jersey for a weekend. I'm mean, not a psychologist. Well, I have no idea what to expect, but I would consider it a personal favor if we just keep this between ourselves. It's the least I can do. You've been very kind to me. I owe you very much. I brought it with me, the history of Tao by Sun Hua. Printed in Taiwan and dedicated to the friendship of Chinese and American people. You see, I am literate in English. I also read Heidegger in Deutsch and Descartes en Français. Well, thank you, Bert. I went to Egypt to be beautiful again. Didn't work. I met Ted instead. Ted was on a mission to convert the nation of Islam to the Mormon faith. <laughs> hey, it's your husband. Yeah, we've been married a year. He didn't come with you. No, he had some last minute business and couldn't make it. You know, I, I don't want to talk about Ted. From your letters, I thought that you were having serious problems. Ted bores me. <laughs> his business bores me, his religion bores me. Other than that, he's fine. <laughs> Far from fun. Fine is a relative term. It's not a word recognized by Freud. He was much more interested in a woman's libido than whether she was fine. You need to run brains around your therapist. Yeah, yeah, I make them think they're about to discover something really traumatic, and then when they're hooked, I leave. Never to return. <laughs> All right, why are you here? Andrew invited me. Why did he invite you? You should ask him. So you go to Andrew's clinic, what do you do there? I put on headphones and listen to filtered sounds for two hours, three times a week. What kind of sounds? Sometimes it's music and sometimes it's chanting. The filter takes out all the low frequencies. What does that do for you? The high frequencies stimulate the vagus nerves. At first they make me feel nauseous, now I'm used to it, I enjoy it more. Hmm. Why are you doing this? I was tortured. Torture imprints fear at a very primitive level of the brain. This fear causes somatic disturbances. Andrew's approach is called sensory integration. What happened to you? I don't think anyone who hasn't been tortured can understand what it's like. If you don't talk about it, how do you expect anybody to understand? When I was interrogated, I gave them names. After I was released, I went to Hong Kong. Because I'm a doctor, they let me into this country. Other people are not so lucky. They have to stay behind. I feel guilty. Don't all European therapists hate their mothers? Yes. Your father's worried about you. Has he asked you? I'm a surgeon, not a psychiatrist. Ted and I have discovered the perfect solution to marriage. We live in separate bubbles. He lives in his, and I live in mine, and we never share the same bubble. I was brought up by my grandparents. My grandfather had served the Communist Party for 40 years. And during the Cultural Revolution, a red guy came to our house and dragged him out. His shoe came off in the street. They hit him with it. And hung a sign around his neck that said, he's a traitor to the people. I still remember the terror I felt at seeing this old man who I loved so much being beaten by torchlight. When I went back to Egypt, I wanted to belong, but I couldn't. I had forgotten the language. Without the language, you're always an outsider. I met Ted. He seemed exciting then. The idiocy of what he was doing hadn't struck me yet. He was on a mission to save the world from the Mormon faith. Just like Andrew wants to save the world in the name of psychology. I guess I 
this as time to move on. I've been writing these thoughts to him in my letters, hoping he'd understand. Congratulations. What's going on? You haven't told her? I thought you had told her. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Uh, will you tell me what's going on? Well, I was hoping to discuss this with you in private. Jennifer and I have decided to get married. We wanted you and Ted to be the first to know. Uh, <coughs> the first what? Bertrand knew. I, I bet Chad already knew. I, I guess it's lucky that I arrived this weekend. I might have arrived sometime next week. I'm going to be married with her, moved in, and the locks changed on the front door. I'll be reasonable, but I, I need somebody to share my life with. I can't remain like this for the rest of my life. Jennifer's been living with me for the last year. She makes me happy. She's a companion and friend. But what about Mama? What about me? Your mother died 12 years ago. I loved her deeply, and I, I love you. Nothing's changed. No, I understand, I understand. You, you don't want me in the way. I can see that. that. That's why you want me to go back to Ted. Ted is your husband. I want you to be happy. Ted's a Mormon! That just about sums him up. <laughs> I thought you were in love with him. He's an incompetent lover and a religious bore. Every time he makes love to me, he thinks he's found in the pulpit. The <laughs> Bible fucking bed is not a turn on. What's a Mormon? It's a religion based on a book called the Book of Mormon. It's a little bit of every religion in a comic book version. <laughs> it's a religion for the Disney age. If, if Mickey Mouse had religion, he'd be a Mormon. <laughs> Your being in time gives a right to his faith. In Egypt, Mormons baptize corpses and claim their souls. Do you know that Ramses II is now a Mormon? So is the whole of the 20th dynasty of pharaohs. Mormon missionaries have been around the Nazi death camps converting the souls of murdered Jews. Is that the behavior of sane, intelligent people? They're entitled to their belief system. No sets of values are inherently more correct than others. You have to compromise with your partner's beliefs. That's a major part of who they are. Why did you marry him if you thought that his ideas were so objectionable? We sat on the banks of the Nile and we talked about archaeology. I think I was the only one for him to let most of the third was a turn on. You should blame the pharaohs for my failed marriage. Oh, so I suppose that Chandler should blame the meat dynasty for his personal problems too? I do. <laughs> there was a chance of change during the meat period that never happened. Ted was a Mormon. I don't want to talk about him. We're compatible. I'm intelligent, and he's an ass. <laughs> I uh, still have your letters. From Egypt. He was going to come, and then we had a fight, and I left without him. We're separated. You, you didn't ask my opinion about marrying this man. This was your decision. You have to give your marriage a chance. So what's the big deal? People divorce every day. Just reciprocate. You didn't know anything about divorce. Not just that until I said it's a great idea. I think I will divorce him. Why can't you keep up with me? Not Why can't you discuss it with me? Instead, you just, you just slap me in the face with how you're going to marry Jennifer? Well, what are we discussing here? My marriage or your I don't tell you. Your letters never made any sense to me. Let me read them. If you read them, you'd have understood. Let's go inside. We can discuss this in my here. I can see the crimson tree where Mama was buried. I'm so sorry, I you know. I'll go in the house and apologize to Jeff. Would you like me to leave now? There's a ferry out this evening. Andrew needs to marry Jennifer. It's not right for a man in his position to be seen socially with a different women. How many women is he seen with? <laughs> it's not that. <laughs> He's an attractive man. Women like him. There's social expectations for a man in his position. I don't know what I expected, but not this. <laughs> he and Jennifer will be very happy. They already are. The marriage will formalize what is already a reality. Give him a blessing. But what about Mama? You can't just forget her. Your mother was an impressive woman, and he loved her very much. He worshipped. You know, the hardest thing about being in therapy was having to talk about her and getting to think of her as human. My mother was sarcastic and neurotic. <laughs> For most of my life, she was a pain in the ass. <laughs> Thank God I'm nothing in common with her. I'd be in some of them. <laughs> <laughs> I miss her. You need your parents or you're losing your mind. It was my mother made me lose mine. 
been looking for it ever since. I know I left it somewhere, but without a mind, I can't remember where. I find what you're saying difficult to understand. It's not difficult at all, Chan, to be very clear. If you were in China, he wouldn't help you. Because you would be afraid of what would happen to you. No, because I would be interfering in the eternal workings of another culture. What about what you think is right and wrong? That hasn't come into it. Why not? My belief system hasn't come into it. It would be arrogant of me to impose my values on others. Let's get back to the ways. If we're to apply the prime directive, then we should stop fishing in their waters. But is it their waters? Why isn't it the fishermen's waters? Who decides? That the orcas were there first. So we should stop fishing? The halibut we just had shouldn't have been caught? Can't we share? What's wrong with sharing? Well, then we're interfering with them. We're cutting into their resources. We risk snaring them in our fishing nets. We can coexist by showing respect for their needs. Yes, that's right. That means making value judgments about their needs and our needs and setting priorities, and that's against the Prime Directive. <laughs> You're right. The Prime Directive doesn't work. Well, it's not perfect, but we risk too much by interfering. To choose not to do something is still a choice. Look, it is too late at night to be discussing this. Oh, the Romulans have a direct hit on the SS Enterprise. <laughs> the Federation are disengaging. Captain Picard retreats, warp nine to the Gamma Constellation. Don't leave Andy alone, Bertram. You trivialize everything. Yes, it would matter. Everything that we do is set in a social context. Aid to a foreign country distorts its economy. Every act of charity is an imposition of my values on other people who have their own sets of priorities. How can I say that my values are better than theirs? Education changes people's values and change their culture. Culture that don't change up from museums. But then who decides what sort of interference is legitimate? The Europeans came to save the souls of the Indians living on these Samoa Islands. Soon, they were exterminating them about as much thought as they gave to hunting squirrels. Before I am Chinese and, and you are American, we are human beings. That is the biological reality. Where I was brought up was an accident of birth. To say you can't interfere and save me from torture is to deny my humanity. Or to deny your own! Well then who decides what is right and what is wrong? Who says I should go this way and not that? It's about power. I can only interfere if I have the power to do so. The question is not a moral or ethical one, but about my right to use power to change things that I don't like. Do I have that right? Yes, if it's taught. One of the criteria is I change it because I don't like it, then where do I stop? I don't like cherry trees. Chuck down cherry trees. I don't like red cards. Burn all red cards. Power corrupts. I don't want to put myself in a position in which I may be corrupted by power. Is that wrong with me? I don't think so. Andy, that's why we have ethical systems that guide us in our choices. But I am being realistic. You are being idealistic. How many of our politicians would trade in ethics for a healthier bank balance? If I stab you, you'll bleed. I don't say because we're culturally different, you won't be. If, as a surgeon, I feel the skin from my arms and the skin from your arms, I will see the same tissues, nerves, and bones. If I don't have a personal stake in something, I have no right to interfere. I don't mind us discussing anything at all, but I think strong emotion is not appropriate with Bondu. <laughs> <laughs> Of yourself. Tell me such lies about your mother. How dare you? Unless Ted is very gentle, I get inflammations and it hurts. Most times I don't enjoy making love. When he enters me, he rubs against dead skin. Now you stop right there! I am the father for Christ's sakes! You don't discuss yourself. But he doesn't father. enjoy making love to me! Look, you, you have trusted your guilt for having to lay love on you, your mother. But you have convinced yourself that the liberation was done to you. You are imagining, but it simply did not happen. That your mother was never guilty of one. Jennifer can check a cut. A cut doesn't prove anything. Please. 
forgive them. Thank <laughs> you. 